Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector, and I am here today to show you the Way of Kings Leatherbound First Edition First Printing. These are an absolutely gorgeous pair of books in two volumes, denoted Volume 1 and Volume 2 on the spines, and today I'm just going to be showing off the books themselves. All of the swag from the Kickstarter has not shipped out yet, and so I don't have all of it yet. Once I do, I will do a separate video showing all of the swag. These books initially came from a Kickstarter that Brandon ran in the middle of last year, and it was massively successful. And the original price for a set of these books with the Kickstarter swag was $200, and they sold probably... 18,000 books at that price, and there was another tier where you pay $500 and you get a numbered pair of books plus swag from every order, and they sold out of all 2,000 of those. There are probably around 20 to 25,000 of the first edition, first printing Way of Kings leather bound, and they are shipping out in two waves. There was a wave for those who got their orders in very quickly in the first 10,000 books. Four books that shipped out in the year 2020, and the remaining books will ship out in the year 2021. So all of the books are going to be listed as first printing, whether they were printed in 2020 or 2021, because they are making all of them identical from the printer. After the Kickstarter books are sold out, they will be calling them a second printing. The way to identify the first printing is, as always, to check the copyright page up front and look for the full number line that ends with the number 1. And here is the number line for Volume 1, and here is the number line for Volume 2. So if you want to ensure that your set is a first printing set, check the number line on both volumes. If you want more details on what was in the Kickstarter and so on, I did a detailed video while that was going on. Link to that is in the corner up here. With the Kickstarter closed, the books are not readily available at the moment. They were available for sale on a couple of sites like the BYU bookstore page, but they appear to have sold out there. You can get some copies for very, very high prices on the secondary market at the moment. I recommend waiting because those prices will come down as the further distribution waves go out. I know several people bought extra copies to resell or whatever that are going to be in the 2021 wave of books that come out. And additionally, any extra books that the Sanderson store has after filling all the orders will go up for sale either on the Sanderson store or on various other places like the BYU bookstore. Enough about getting the books. Let's go ahead and look at these amazing amazingly pretty books themselves. They come in this gorgeous cloth-covered slipcase, and it has this lovely, shiny, but still dark and subtle symbol for the Stormlight Archive on the front of the slipcase, and it is absolutely so pretty, and I am so glad that we finally get books in a slipcase. I'm really hoping that eventually we can also get the Mistborn Trilogy in a slipcase. Let's go ahead and take a look at the books themselves. Each book has the symbol of the Windrunners on the front, so here is Volume 1 and Volume 2, and they are absolutely stunning with the blue embossed foiling for the Windrunner symbol and the gold foiling to offset that, just like on the spines. On the back of the books we have quotes, Speak Again, The Ancient Oaths, Life Before Death, Strength before weakness, journey, before destination, the first ideal of the Knights Radiant. I love that they put these on there instead of leaving them blank or just copying the symbol from the front of the books. It makes them just that extra little touch that is so special. Now, the two volumes have separate ISBNs and are counted as separate books for cataloging purposes, although at the moment they only come together in the slipcase, and I will put the ISBNs down in the description, as always. Volume 1 is signed on all of these copies, and if you got one of the numbered copies, like I did, that will be where your number is. I was lucky enough to get number 240 
which makes me really happy. However, for logistical reasons, the volume two is not signed and obviously not numbered. If you want to track down Brandon at an in-person event once the virus has subsided and Brandon is doing those again, he will happily sign volume two for you. And I bet if you bring in volume one with a number on it, he will match that number for volume two. Inside the books, there is a ton, a ton of gorgeous art. And it starts with the end papers. On book one, we have the iconic Michael Whelan cover for the book. On the back, we have a piece from Howard Lyon depicting Caledon on the Shattered Plains contemplating a high storm. The art they picked for these is absolutely stunning, and I love all the commissions they've done. Also in the front, we get various foreign covers that are here. If you want a full in-depth tour of all the art in both of these volumes, I did one from, I guess, November through December of 2020 on my Instagram. Link to that is, of course, in the description as well. There is an acknowledgments section that has some special acknowledgments for the 10th anniversary edition. And there is a preface where Brandon talks about the making of the book and some more art. And we finally get to the prologue where we can see that the chapter headers have been redone in two colors with blue and black. Quotes like the beginning of chapter epigraphs also have this blue color. And you can see that even the chapter icons in some cases have been redone. And this two color setting just feels so pretty and so nice to see. And in future books where the order's color is different, the color is based on the gemstone for each order of the Knights Radiant. And the Windrunner gem is sapphires, which are usually blue. And we can also see that they have done a two color scheme for the artwork that was included in the original of The Way of Kings. And it just adds that extra touch that makes it so nice. Oh, and something else I have forgotten to mention, there is gold foiling on the edge of all the pages, and it makes the books look really nice when they are out of the slipcase too. They look nice and pretty and finished all the way around. They also have these really nice golden ribbon bookmarks in each volume. Volume two has more artwork. We've got the end papers from the hardcover edition of The Way of Kings as the end papers in here. And we have another art gallery in front with all art that Brendan has commissioned for various things and fan art that has been made into an official product. And I think that is, again, really pretty. Ah, here's an instance where we have the Stormfather speaking in all caps, and the text is in blue. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is everything that I have to say about the Way of Kings 10th Anniversary Leatherbound books that I have from the Kickstarter. They are the most gorgeous thing that Dragonsteel has produced to date, and I am so glad that I was able to get a numbered set of these for my collection. In the future, as I have mentioned, Dragonsteel is planning to do the other volumes of the Stormlight Archive in a similar fashion with two volumes each in a slipcase with the color of this glyph here and the foiling on the books to match the color for the Order of Night Radiant that is featured in that book. And each Kickstarter in the future will come with more swag and a Sanderson curiosity. The curiosity for this one was Way of Kings Prime. I believe for next one it is going to be Dragonsteel, which is super exciting. And I am also looking forward to collecting all of the curiosities and swag that come from these Kickstarters because it's always cool to get more books, more insight into Brandon's process and writing and all the cool little swag items and posters and art bits that come from these. I absolutely love these and I am super excited for the Words of Radiance Kickstarter in a couple of years when my wallet has recovered from the Way of Kings Kickstarter. I hope this video has told you everything that you 
wanted to know and answered any questions you might have about the leather bounds for the Way of Kings. If y'all still have any questions at all, please feel free to leave me a comment below or go over to the Collector Discord and we will be happy to talk to you about them. If you want to see all the art inside, remember to go over to my Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave me a like. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos on my channel, please subscribe. And I think that's everything for today. So I wish you luck finding your own copy of these volumes if you want to. I hope you enjoy your copies if you do have them, and I will see you next time. Until then, happy collecting!